Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Simon, and I'm unfortunate enough to be James's younger brother. Uh, growing up, I've always looked up to James, literally. At six foot two, and me a mere five ten and a half. He's always been my bigger brother in more ways than one. So today, I'd like to tell you about growing up with James, about sibling rivalry. About living a life in the shadows of Golden Boy. <laughs> About what it's like to live with the laziest man on the planet. <laughs> and about how young James grew up and became Jimmy. <laughs> Before we get started though, in this day and age it would be rude not to have a social media update on the day. So I'm going to get my phone out and have a look at Emma's Facebook activity for the past couple of years. Oh. Oh. Let's have a look. Oh, that's nice, yeah. She's updated her status to married. Um, I'm just scrolling down here. I can see Mary Morrison's actually commented. She's asking where the dislike button is. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, of course, the mother-in-law's chipped in too. Um, she's put a sleepy face emoji <laughs> and she's written, I'd rather be watching Vera. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on a minute. Someone else is typing as we speak. It's, uh, it's Will Pipeman. <laughs> and he's, he's put the monks to shame with the jet and he's summed up the status with the classic hashtag genuine kind heart. Of. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Back to the happy couples. I'd like to thank James and Emma for allowing me to be part of the wedding party today. Of course, Emma, you look simply stunning today. And James, you look simple. <laughs> and stunned. <laughs> so I've known James my whole life. And growing up, we competed with each other at absolutely everything. We were the definition of sibling and rivalry. But given his advanced years and physical stature, it became clear there was only one winner in those early years. He chewed more rounds of golf, smashed the ball past me at tennis, caught more balls when we were playing pool. The pecking order was assumed. I was definitely the runt. <laughs> this wasn't limited to sports though. One vivid memory I have, which I think genuinely contributed to me having claustrophobia to this day, was James would regularly shove me in the sofa bed, quickly closing it on top of me, and taking great delight in it. Absolutely terrifying. On that note, I know the two of you have just bought a new house, um, so Emma, maybe avoid banging any sofa bed. <laughs> Don't feel too sorry for me though, there were small wins along the way. One time we were golfing and my dad brought Hannah along, which we both thought was a terrible idea. My thoughts on this quickly changed when my sister brutally smashed a putter off James's shins. There was also the time James came home from school via the worst barber in town ever now. Sporting a freshly shaved skinhead. <laughs> making him look like a resident of Chernobyl. <laughs> it could be argued though that this was an improvement on the previous movie. <laughs> which can only be described as something closely resembling a snivelling, brown-nosing, graduate Jewish accountant. <laughs> Back to me. I was trailing in the physical department, so an exam time came around. I thought this would be a new way to compete. Brains over brawn, that's what I thought. I thought wrong. Not to be outdone again, James aced every test he sat, landed straight A's in the first class on his degree. The term right now, pissing into the wind, comes to mind. <laughs> so I think we can all agree it's 2 0 to James at this moment. But this is when things finally began to turn in my favour. All that early success must have taken it out of young James, because I can honestly say he's the laziest man I've ever met. <laughs> if there was an award for laziness, he'd probably send someone to pick it up. <laughs> this laziness definitely cost James a few points in sibling rivalry states. Whilst I was out learning to drive, 
He was in a pair of joggers, stroking his Jewish hair. <laughs> and watching neighbours twice a day. <laughs> when I got my first job in the real world, he was scratching his balls. <laughs> whilst playing championship manager. When I jumped in the property ladder, James was still getting tucked in bed with a cup of tea and whiskers. <laughs> Then, something remarkable happened. <laughs> Young James ditched the Jewish haircut. The joggers disappeared. A beard started growing, and along with it, a personality. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy was born. <laughs> Jimmy soon started mirroring some of the actions of his successful younger brother. <laughs> By this time he was well on his way to a successful career, moved out of the family home, learned to drive, and finally met a girl. <laughs> when James met Emma and told me she was from Campbelltown, I was pleasantly surprised when he confirmed she has ten fingers and ten toes. <laughs> They say opposites attract, and this couldn't be true of the pair. James, a man of few words, whereas the movement of Emma's chin over the day could probably cover Campbellton if you're that young. <laughs> All joking aside though, Emma became a part of the family very quickly. The noise around the dinner table at family meals certainly went up a notch with the introduction, which is no bad thing at all. And when we're all together, time is usually spent laughing, eating, talking about the latest BBC drama, <laughs> or taking the piss out of the latest Moza full path. <laughs> Emma, you've slotted into the family perfectly since day one. I think everyone else would agree with me here and be delighted that we've made official today. While I'm saying nice things about people, James, growing up with you was a bloody nightmare. <laughs> but since we've grown up, I'm happy to be able to say that as well as my brother, we've been also one of my best pals. <laughs> Finally, I would like to make a quick mention of the stag do and thank everyone who made it for coming along. It was a roaring success and I didn't say so myself. <laughs> And for anyone who disagrees, I'd have to say to you... Hey! What's wrong with you? It's a bit, a bit of an in-joke. Yeah. Uh, so to round the speech off, I don't think we got around to talking up the final score in the sibling rivalry states. But to be honest, I don't think we need to. You see... Today, James has finally admitted that I am the best man. Oh. 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 I'd like to raise your glasses to the bride and groom. <laughs> <laughs>